What's going on, Hooligans? It's your boy M Speed, and I have a surprise for you guys today. My boy just got his first RC car, and we get to do an unboxing. I'm gonna let him unbox it, I'm gonna let him cut it open, everything like that. But it's his, and it is savage. I can't wait to show you guys. Check it out, guys. It is the Arma Big Rock 3S. DLX, 50 plus miles an hour monster truck in flat black. This thing is absolutely a monster. And I'll flip the box around so I can show you guys some of the features it has with it before we go ahead and crack this thing open. Now what they did with the new V3 Arma Big Rock is they extended it out. It extended uh, uh, lower control arms on it. Now it's 14 inches wide. So that means it's going to be way more stable. Look down here at some of the other features, the new transmission, gearing, some of the other components, the easy modular design. But go ahead and pause it if there's anything that you guys want to look at on the box. Now on the box it's showing you all the new components and how they are actually installed on the truck, where they are. Talking about the ball bearings. Everything's pretty much new on this V3. And we're going to take this thing out for a blast later on today. Here he is, guys, cutting open his first RC. Oh, check it out. Oh, that flat black looks awesome. Oh, there we go, the plastic. Here, it, oh, that was sexy. Oh, look at this thing. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Oh. That's awesome. Get a back shot real quick. Oh, that's sweet. All right, gents, I'm gonna show you everything that it comes with. So it comes with this wheel wrench right here. It comes with a couple uh, um, shock adjustment uh, shims and a few other little bits in here. That's the little toolkit that it comes with. This is the instruction manual. I've already told him that he should go through and read it and everything like that. It comes with a bind plug for this uh, SLT3 remote. Now this also has a toggle switch on here, which can be programmable, I believe, to something else. And then he has this steering trim right here. Steering, throttle. Yeah. This thing is absolutely awesome. Now let's take a look at the truck since he already cracked the cover on it. Look at this thing. So here's the plug. It's the IC5 plug, we're using EC5 batteries. There's the battery tray, that monster of a motor with a fan on it. There's the uh, ESC right there. There's the on off. There's the steering servo right there. And as we look, the shocks, they are a plastic shock with shims, but they seem to work very well. And I haven't heard any reports of them leaking on people. There's the wheelie bar on back here. Nice and smooth. The extended swing arm, there's extended lower control arms. Man, this thing is freaking sweet. I'm excited for him. He's got a bad, bad truck for his first rig. That is for certain. And there's the body right there. That flat black is just sexy. Look at that thing. Guys, we're gonna be running it on this HRB 7000 Moth 3S 55 seat discharge rig. It's well above the factory rating. 
And these batteries, like I said in the other video, I'm gonna be running them in my uh, infraction as well. And we are going to be doing a, uh, a review on basically the quality and longevity and how they balance and charge. Um, but we'll be doing that uh, battery reviews on a later video. Now guys, I have flipped it over just to take a look at the bottom chassis. This one is a plastic chassis, stamped Arma in it though. Man, this thing looks sweet. Man, he's just as excited as I am to see this thing go out and rip. We're gonna take this thing out for a blast. Well, overall guys, my first thoughts and impressions on this. Honestly, you can pick this thing up for $300. And for $300, this thing is an absolute bargain at 50 miles an hour on a 3S LiPo. So my first impression so far is this thing is probably one of the best vehicles you can buy as just a general RC slash basher on the market. Everyone's having very good luck with them and it just looks killer. So we'll get some video footage of this thing tearing it up later on today. And then, man, I'm just blown away at the paint job. I think this thing is just awesome looking. And it's got the body tethers on it as well, just like my Outcast 8S. Okay guys, we went ahead and hooked everything up. And this, that battery fits in there absolutely perfect. Like it is perfect fit. So what I did was I went online and I looked up the battery tray dimensions before we ordered the batteries. So this battery is like almost an exact fit. So if you guys are looking for batteries for your big rock, this is a great fit. And I'll let you guys know how they perform later on. Things a tank, bro. There you go.
There you go. Don't run yourself over with your new heart. Well, hooligans, this unboxing was, is straight awesome. My buddy's first truck, and what a truck. Till next time, gents. This is Zem Speak. Keep it motorfied.